Are you constantly trying to find a storage and organization solution for your stamps and dies? This is Jama Malmi, and I was in the same boat, trying to find the perfect solution, but I finally found it, and I'm excited to share it with you today. My friend Crafty Concepts with Erin turned me on to these storage bins, and they're absolutely perfect for my stamps, dies, and embossing folders. I have them divided by theme. So this is my alphabet stamps. And as you can see, it fits quite a few. I have 32 in here and could fit even more. These bins are from Lowe's. I will link them down in the description below. I love how sturdy they are and how nice they look. Now for stamps that have coordinating dies, I keep those right in with the stamp set. And then I keep my standalone dies separate. Most of my stamps and dies are from close to my heart, but this system would work with any brand. The stamps come in those nice storage envelopes, and the dies do come on the magnetic sheets, but they don't come in nice envelopes. So I'm going to show you how I add them to these envelopes that I'm using. In addition to this bin, I have my most used dies over on this magnetic board that I made. It's just plywood hung on a French cleat with magnetic sheets on it. I got the magnetic sheets on Amazon, and I will link them down below. Now I'm going to show you how I cut down my die sheets and store them in these envelopes. For example, this one here was a really big single sheet and I cut it down so it would fit into this larger envelope. There are two envelope sizes that I use and again, I will link them down below. They are from Amazon. So depending on the size of the magnet and the die set, that's what size envelope it goes in. This one comes six by six and it fits in the smaller envelope perfectly. And then some dies come on these smaller sheets. So if it comes with an instruction sheet, I usually cut that down and add it to the envelope as well. This is how the die pockets come when you get them. This is the large size and there are 10 pieces in each pack. They're not perfect, but they do work well and they're inexpensive. They're around eight to $9 US at the time of recording. My only problem is that they don't really latch close very easily. It's really hard to get this flap to close. So I just leave it open and don't worry about it. And that works for me. So let's go ahead and put some of the new dies that I got into these storage envelopes. I'm going to start out by making a label for each one with my P-Touch. I really do love this P-Touch. I will link it down below. What I like most about it is that it's easy to use, but then also the tape has a split on the back. So when I take off the release tape, it's really easy. This is one of those dies that has an instruction sheet, and I definitely want to save that because this is a one of those dies that's a little more trickier to use. The magnet sheets come inside this little plastic piece that I don't need, so I'll toss that, and then I'm going to trim down this instruction sheet. I don't have to, but I just wanted it a little bit closer to the size of the magnetic sheet. So I'll just put that on the back and then I'll grab one of the smaller envelopes. Here are the two sizes, the three that I'm going to be adding today, and I'll just slip it in. So you want to decide if you want the flap at the back or at the front. I like it on the back and then see how this is split on the back. So it's really easy to take that release paper off and I'll just stick it right onto the envelope just like that. So super, super easy to do. And now all of my dies are going to be uniform. Now this one's a little bit trickier because I have to cut it down. I have found that if I have the width five and five eighths, that fits in the pocket perfectly. And I want the height to be nine and five eighths. However, when I was cutting this one down, I wasn't measuring exactly. I just held it up and I didn't hold it up to the nine and five eighths. So I'm not going to trim it enough the first time but no worries, I'll come back and fix it. You can use your paper trimmer for this, but you probably wanna put in a different blade that you use for things that are non-paper, like I'm using my glitter paper blade for this. At first I was like, uh-oh, it's the first die set that won't fit in the pocket, but then I realized I can just tilt it to the side like this and rearrange all the little pieces, and that's going to get it to just the right height. So now it's gonna fit into our little pocket just perfectly. By the way, if you're interested in any of the dies I've shown here today, most of them are available on my Close to My Heart website, and I will have that linked down below. I really love Close to My Heart's dies and how they come on these magnetic sheets already. 
We'll add the label on this one, and now this one's complete too. I've had my dies in these envelopes for many months now, and I'm really liking it, but now that I've collected more in this bin, it's hard to find what I need, so I needed some sort of insert to separate the themes. Now, each of my stamps are in their own bin that has a theme to it, but since all of my standalone dies are in a bin together, I got these dividers on, at scrapbook.com, and I'm just making little labels for those, and then they'll be nice and separated. So I went through all of my dies in the smaller envelopes and separated them into six themes, just based on what I had. These themes may be different for you, depending on what you have, but I have backgrounds, flowers, shapes, alphabets, functional, and Christmas slash winter. I didn't add dividers between the dies in the large envelopes because I don't have as many and the dividers wouldn't show. Once the dividers were in, I didn't like how far they stuck up past my dies since these envelopes are smaller than a lot of brands. So I just trimmed them down by an inch and a quarter and that ended up being perfect. I used my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer and it cut through the plastic just perfectly. Now this is what they look like on my shelf. Now I can easily flip through the tabs and find the ones I want to use on my next scrapbook layout. Since my collection of stamps is a lot bigger than my dies, I have a bin dedicated to each theme for my stamps instead of just a tab like for the dies. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your own stamp and die storage. If you want to see more organization ideas, I do have a full craft room tour available that is on screen right now. And if you love scrapbooking, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I share lots of scrapbooking ideas. Thanks for watching and have a great day.